Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News, or really Zelda News, really Zelda Easter Egg Edition. In this episode, I'm just going to talk about a couple interesting Easter eggs found in Majora's Mask. So if you don't want to know about them ahead of time, you should probably just go ahead and skip this video now, because I'm going to talk about it, because they're pretty interesting. Um, so, you've been forewarned. Let's get on to those Easter eggs. Ganondorf's horse is in Majora's Mask. That's pretty interesting. Um, I mean, it, it makes sense in a lot of ways that... Uh, I guess Majora's Mask is supposed to be like an alternate dimension or an alternate reality or something like that because so many of the characters look similar. Uh, that's something... This is basically going to be a rant now and I didn't even realize I was going to go into this topic, but that's one issue that I have with Majora's Mask, which is it's supposed to... We're supposed to understand that this is like another world, or another, not physical world, like it's somewhere else in the solar system, but like another reality or another dimension, because these characters look identical to people who live in Hyrule, but why doesn't the land look identical to Hyrule? <laughs> Terminator looks like its own place, its own distinct landscape, and that's much more interesting to play but it doesn't make any logical sense if it's supposed to be the same, another reality of the same place. It, 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 that's never really made any sense to me. Um, I think that probably originally when they were planning Majora's Mask, they were planning on keeping the overworld the same uh, from Ocarina of Time, and then eventually they changed it up because they had more time to do so, and realized that it would be boring to play in the exact same landscape. So. That's fine, but I just don't understand how the people can look identical, but the land, which seems less changeable, uh, or less, there are less variables involved in a landscape than there are in person A plus person B equals person C's offspring. Um, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now since I'm just rambling, but I guess my point is if Termina is an alternate reality, it should look exactly like Hyrule when it does, and that's always kind of bugged me a little bit. But I'm grateful for it, because I wouldn't want to play through a whole other game with Ocarina of Time's landscape, of course, but it just doesn't make any logical sense to me. But then again, there are other things in the game that make less logical sense, like a Wii remote <laughs> in Majora's Mask's land. Uh, you know, whatever, it's very interesting. It's just amusing, it's just a silly little easter egg, but it is funny that in the Zelda games they often put in things like um, like DS Island in, uh, what was that, Phantom Hourglass, and things like that. Uh, there was supposed to be an island in Wind Waker that looks like a GameCube, but um, it's silly. It's just supposed to be silly, but it doesn't make any logical sense. But, oh well. Anyways, that is it for this rambly non-sequitur of a Nintendo News episode. See you guys tomorrow for more hard-hitting news. Bye, guys.